Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out Gravity Team Tactics, Mio's Front, the Clo Croatian Legion expansion. Uh, it, it is part, or it is playing out during Operation of Five Blau, uh, that operation that resulted in Stalingrad in '42. It is. We can get it on Steam, it is not very expensive and it is considered by reviews to be a very fun DLC. Yeah, it is somewhat infantry focused. That is the section here. Battles at Oskol. That is the expansion. Yeah, infantry simulation is, in my book, not really a strength of Gravity Team Tactics. There's room for a lot of improvement. But nevertheless, yeah, could be fun. Especially because it seems to start out with few heavy weapons. But then, in the process, you might receive some. So this is especially for people that look for more infantry action as uh, many of the gravity and tactic operations are rather focused on yeah there's also other infantry focus scenarios but yeah let's play it and yeah i will show it to you from both sides and then we might play the croatians uh, that is as they are basically uh, here, the their name giving name giving the name to the DLC. So let's first check out. Oh, this was on. <clears throat> Good, uh, Soviet OOB. Yeah, there will be. Uh, that is not a Soviet OOB, we are currently. What did we say? Yeah, Croatians. Croatians. Croaten. We get it. Here. Good, yeah, you have some anti tank guns here and HMGs. And that's it, the uh, support weapons like mortars. But yeah, there will be a reserve coming in by. Oh, those guys riding. Marder. Ah, that is those small tank destroyers. Uh, also nice, not some he medium or heavy tanks or whatever, but some, yeah, I think Marta too, yeah, that was those smaller tank destroyers, I mean, they had quite a, quite a gun, as far as I remember. But definitely infantry focus, so, okay, let's check out the Soviets. Jimmy, I Andre, this is my news sometimes. <laughs> is this bigger than this? There's one further unit. This is for more challenge or what? Let's check first out this one. Yeah, the Soviet's the same. Uh, some anti-tank rifles, MGs, Maxim, Dushkas. Yeah, I think it was Dushkas, yeah. But basically no vehicles, uh, except for supply trucks. Good, and this here is at a variation. Mm. 
Hmm, not sure. Yeah, uh, could be, or uh, did we skip that tank before? Uh, tank Corps? Company? Uh, uh, no, that is 13th Tank Corps. Yeah, that must be, I think, a modification. Here, there is... Either I skipped that before. Perhaps I didn't, saw, didn't see this unit as I started to check here. But there will be a tank company coming in with quite some equipment. Yeah, T-34, early T-34s, Mark III, Valentine, uh, British tanks, Land Lease and KV-1s. So you will still have some tank action here. And uh, we can quickly check it out. Is that the difference? Now here the 13th tank core is also present. You'll see another number here, 343. So whatever, but it is a major operation. There's basically one major operation, perhaps with a variation. So my interface looks different, but it's... Yeah, you still have the tank company here. Good, um, now we want to play, yeah. Good, we are supposed to push into this area, make contact with the 2793rd and uh, AT detachment. No, wait, that, is, that was the solid side. We are on the left flank of 6th Army. And we need, we are tasked to dislodge retreating enemy forces from off the right bank of the river Oskol and seize the crossing at Stavo in uh, Ivanovka. Good. Crossing must be Yeah, so let's do it. <clears throat> Do we want to engage Popov and perhaps leave Odensoy for the time being? I mean, there is a reserve force that is not available yet anyways. I guess that is also some sort of intent to isolate that combat position by the enemy. Uh, there is a hill here, higher ground, 214. 218, we could of course also go for that. And I guess when this unit then becomes available, you can mop up the remnants here. There's something reported here. Yeah. Okay. I don't not really want to capture the higher ground here. Yeah. 
Bogdanich, lead your man. We all in. Good, you guys take over. Position IAT gun here at 213. And bring me that machine gun as well. What's we'll that? Horse RT. Yeah, do we need that? No. That thing can operate from the rear, right? Good, and here we will push into vicinity pop off hard. Bring up and set that machine gun at right, 250 and 27. 15. Maybe we will push that enemy and then you bring that machine gun up there. Well, then we also need, of course, yeah, wait, we need, of course, to watch the flank. Yeah, bring it up on 207. Bodilovic take over here. That is fine, but drive it a bit forward. Leave the field gun back. Good, we want to see some infantry combat here. Let's go. See how it works out. Yeah, but um, uh, it's not a click fest. You can already know, see it. That is very something you, you can enjoy. Uh, do some progress in a single evening and not spend 10 years with click fasting yourself through whatever. I mean, that is also the entirely different philosophy of this game. Yeah, it is not really meant for this detailed, some, sometimes quite micromanaging approach of combat mission. People compare those two games all day, but. No. They are quite different. Uh, if you want some detailed combat, um, urban warfare, infantry combat, etc., on individual simulation, then combat mission does that, but also requires a lot more workload, which can be ex extremely fatiguing with some of those newer huge releases where people throw millions of units onto the maps and think they're doing a favor with that. While here, I think Gravity Team plays better if you don't pay too much attention yeah, to what every single Jimmy is doing on the map. But command from a higher level and let play let it play out. Yeah. And don't pay too much attention what they are doing there. If they are doing the right step to the left or the, to the right. To mention, especially the infantry simulation, if watched too close, can be quite weak in this game. But if you stick or tune your mindset to a more operational approach, the results are not too bad. Good, we are done. Let's roll. Uh, so it's counter attacking in the south. Good. Yeah, why not? That is a combat here situation. Something like a meeting engagement, it seems. As the Soviets coming also here. So we might even put into defensive, why not? We have uh, some machine guns here with us. unit amount okay actually I would pay money if somebody would finally design again some smaller combat mission scenarios good um, yeah let's hit tech map yeah that is the two locations and in the beginning I might act conservative and don't engage the Soviets want to engage 
Uh, ground doesn't offer much cover. Jimmy, that is zero cover, basically. Except here for this tree line along the road. Yeah, very flat terrain. But a single machine gun can waste the entire company here. So if the Soviets want to come, Jimmy, you um, be my guest. Good one. Uh, reinstalled. My interface is entirely different. Okay, what is that? Platoon. That is support weapons, I guess. Yeah. Jimmy, get all support weapons. <clears throat> Might substitute you to the platoons we will see. <clears throat> and where's my machine gun? No machine gun. Ah, oh, okay. They already, already have mortars with them. Yeah, unfortunately no machine gun, but uh, the squads of course are equipped with machine guns on their own. Jimmy, <clears throat> you, well, <clears throat> okay, yeah, you guys will get ready, stay in reserve, and once those Soviets marked about that attack, we might counter attack on our own. Sure, you can bring mortar support in. So leader forward, and here weapons company. Uh, weapons platoon. Yeah, should we position your mortars? Uh, let's come on. Let's. What is that for us? That is eight. 80 Mike Mike and those platoon motors are 50 Mike Mike Jimmy. That is a that is a New Year's Eve firecracker. Yeah, give uh, those things don't do nothing. We will substitute those platoons here with some better motors here from the weapons platoon. Uh, those 80 Mike Mikes will make will definitely have a better impression. What is that here, Mr. Phone? Telephone and cable. Yeah. I want internet. No, okay. You guys rest, stay rear. On the other hand, might be an idea to keep leaders with both motors. A bit dangerous, but Jimmy. 
everybody fucks in my army. Uh, that is a small one. Yeah, bring that thing here. And bring that cable here as well. That is leadership. Company, 7th co company commander. Hauptmann or whatever. So Atians call captain ranked Jimmy's. Okay, SOP. Yeah, fire at will. Perhaps I want to wait. And not fire immediately. Jimmy, no fire at will. Good, hold fire. I mean, perhaps except for the mortars, those mortars can hammer them. But not the firecrackers, the big ones. LAN cable here. Uh, also, uh, and back in the days uh, on a LAN party, you also required jimmies like those. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. We are done here. Jimmy, hit the deck. I guess. Okay. Yeah, the blinking is because they're on hold fire. <laughs> Stupid quotes, eh? Uh, Jimmy's hit cover, perhaps. But they're on defense.
Die war tot. Ja, jetzt rot. Ponies incoming. Yeah, they're in the open. Unleash. Should I did I press too often? Yeah, need to wait. That was a bit clicking too often. Paid too much command points for that. Yeah, that seems like it works out, anyways. It's still some guys blinking.
Hund. Was ist denn jetzt hier? Wolfstein. Hund. Komm mal weg, da war ich, genau. Das ist absolut süß. Das ist ja ein Vehikel, was ist making this noise? Something like an engine. Ah, this is a structure. Rifle is basically a sniper rifle, sure you can fire at soft targets with it, but I doubt that here Conrad will hit anything with that. It's rather out of desperation than efficiency. So the guy who decided now is, uh, it looks a bit wounded. Better, I uh, get out of here. And uh, it could be that they're retreating the pop off. Might be time for a counter offensive. Uh, left looks uh, a bit, quite a lot of activity. I mean, if they want to push it us, you see the terrain is absolutely. The terrain is absolutely deadly for infantry advance. I think without support weapons, I even consider. I'm not sure if I want to push. Yeah, we will see. 
Yes, they also have some heavy weapons here. Reported. Actually, that is a tank, right? Yeah. Bonies get ready. Uh, here, armored vehicles. Do we have any anti tank assets? No. Yeah. But something is definitely coming there. Seen this. It's a sort of carrier. A universal carrier inside with some seating. Quite exposed, right? But yeah, better than walking. This is one of my favorite war games along with great quick speed. Yes, I love very cool my Neos front. Yeah, good. We could of course get our here. Soup. Soup chich. We could also try something entirely different. And try to go over the flank. We'll take some time. Soup chich. Let's try that out. Ah, that is off map. Ah, that was okay. Yeah, you can set, um, but it will of course also draw in more forces. Uh, this clever team game allows you to also somewhat um, yeah, modify battle sizes by... There is this setting, battle size, big, medium, small, or what it is, which basically simulates how much area is drawn into a battle. And then you have more room to maneuver. Here yeah, we have a little room, you see the map is already ending here. But that is fine, yeah, you basically need to consider that left and right, yeah, it is assumed there is also combat or something happening. Yeah. It's like if you play on a limited combat mission map, doesn't mean that left and right the world is over, but that there's other units operating, that is your basically your, your limit. So it is fine, yeah, you not always have room to maneuver as, as much as you want. But if you want bigger, you set this setting to big, and then there might be also, for example, this being drawn in this area, but some of those battles can then get quite big. Depends. It's a matter of taste, and of course, also a question of your machine. Yeah, I mean, the Soviets are still pushing here. Most of those units are dysfunctional. Uh, those guys absolutely will never ever cross this field without heavy fire support or RT but if I will try I might face heavy casualties as well uh, it is simple as that yeah? there is no rocket science involved but we of course have the orders to push forward but right now if they want to come for us sure and there's armored carriers yeah okay but I mean they are quite they can be dangerous but it seems like this guy has already changed his mind again Yeah, well, interesting. First time I see that thing. It's definitely a Soviet design, right? To me, diesel. Give me that diesel exhaust. Well, let's see what is going on there. Some heavy weapons firing. Seems like Soviets bringing their heavy weapons close, uh, which is good, perhaps we can snipe them, but... Uh, what? Oh, that is a location. Uh, from close, sometimes this engine gives me the impression of those old 
armor engines. Jest! Dawał jeszcze sergeant. sergeant. little thing is making so much noise. <laughs> this is a fire quick as well. Yeah, Jimmy, other side. That's that's where. Yeah, uh, those guys. I mean, they. I consider that they suffer a lot of fuel losses. But you see, uh, that that is not some uh, pushing them now into this remnants there. That would be too much. I think we need to play it here. Rather patient. Probably not advance over this field, at least not at this daylight conditions. It's a single Maxine can waste your entire platoon, uh, your entire company. A single machine gun can pin you entirely. I would like to explore this option, which you could do an operational map. You could basically take a unit and go into this direction. Uh, look at this goddammit. And those Soviets are really going in here. Yeah, sure. I have, I have ammunition. But it is basically single guys, but still they're pushing it. It is absolutely nuts what they're doing. Coming back and back. But yeah, I rate this thing as here also pretty good for beginners. Uh, and for people that are perhaps need, need um, some holidays from micromanagement form. So... Are they pushing back? Okay. Well, good. We can trade some ground that is not real. Uh, it wonders me a bit that those guys are retreating, but okay. Perhaps say uh, it could be that it is a lot of ammunition problem. Uh, there was a lot of ordnance expended, and you know what? Yeah, in this case, I think Subchich can take all his positions here. Kazun will rotate out. 
Person, Person uh, who said Fa Farkas, right? Jimmy, that's you guys. Yeah. Good. Farkas rotate out. But do it covertly. And Zubchich, take your man and rotate in. You guys are fresh. But do it covertly. And. Yeah, Jimmy's take defense. Yeah, nice, nice AI formation here. Perfect. I also like that those guys stick to the tree line here by covert moving them. And yeah. yeah. And here on the left, I think that is fine. We could change those SOPs to not engage every crap. Could also simply issue a fire pause and see. Let those servers come a bit closer and then unleash again. That can sometimes break morale. You issue a fire pause. Then you let the enemy adv uh, let a broken or disrupted enemy advance, and uh, they think, yeah, they managed it, they overcame you, and then you unleash again, total brunt on them. That is often a good way to absolutely break a unit that is attacking you, in case you don't want them to retreat in, in greater strength. So you allow them basically to come in apply more re reserves uh, to give enemy commanders more hope and then you face it completely. I mean we could do that on the left. Uh, let's do this tactic, so here, Slatunic. What? Should we have Farkash brothers? This guy is also called Farkash, okay. Issue a fire pause. Oh, hold fire. And conceal yourselves. Somewhat that was not too bad. Those German quotes are sometimes super annoying. Those voice, voice lines. Reapply force. Yeah, Jimmy, you need to watch out. I mean, those guys pushing in here with force, I'm rather concerned for my ammunition. But they, of course, take like heavy casualties, so. Running back and forth.
We won't go for offensive operations, so we should be quite low on ammunition already. So that is basically the whole positions against this counter offensive. There's even a possibility that we might need to fall back.
Okay, yeah, so if you enjoy infantry combat with few support weapons, uh, check out this DLC. Um, we will not continue holding those positions. We might even need to push back if they re opt in for everything to those crossroads. Yeah, I almost reached it. Yeah, more and more is incoming. Good, that is here. Yeah, you can get it on Steam. Only as on sale. Yeah, one hour, perfect. Now we'll come up with some, some further stuff. World War II ton tonight. Got some EL2 anti aircraft track. Want to do a single player review on that. Okay. Back in five minutes.